severe that you go from doctor to doctor and no one can help you. And imagine not being able to sit. It's no laughing matter. Medical reporter Christy Myers here with a new treatment that's going to give some relief. And a problem, too, with diagnosis, Art. The pain is so severe, most people can't sit, but it's embarrassing. Then when they go to the doctor, it's usually misdiagnosed. Right, and my body was... Gina Kiesler was an avid cyclist until she took a rough fall off her bike. She landed on her bottom, causing an injury that began a decade of pain. It's unbearable. It's intractable. It's unspeakable. I call it a modern torture. Gina, who lives in Indianapolis, went to some 40 medical specialists before coming to Houston for a new surgery. To take a person who is, you know, competent, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations, um... Uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. Dr. Kenneth Rainey knows how bad her pain is. He had it, too, after being hit by a car as he rode his bicycle. The worst problem is that you can't sit, and socially, you're really restricted in what you can do. Your life resolves around sitting in the chair in the recliner so that you don't have pain. The injury causes the pudendal nerve, which goes to the rectum, bladder, and reproductive organs, to be squeezed by ligaments. Rennie saw a dozen doctors before going to France for no, surgery. He then took a Houston team back for training. Went over and we spent two weeks there and we learned the French technique so that I could bring them back French trained so that we can offer this to American patients. And it's not just cyclists that can have this kind of pain. It can happen to people who wrestle. It can happen after a fall if you're rollerblading or ice skating. And it can even occur after childbirth or after gynecological surgery. Gina came from Indianapolis for surgery. When they release the pressure on the nerve, she has a 60% chance of being cured. To go through it um, on an hourly basis with no end in sight is um, just a living hell. And we hope this is the end in sight. After today's surgery, Gina may have immediate relief or it could take up to two years. With today's health check, I'm Christy Myers. I'm Christy Myers. Imagine not being able to sit because of the pain. How one young woman who was suicidal had her life turned around. That story coming up later on Live at 5. She suffered from unspeakable pain that prevented her from even sitting down. It would take a person who is, you know, confident, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations. Um, uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. 13's Christy Myers with how she got the pain to stop. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we told you about a young woman who had so much pain that she couldn't even sit down. In fact, she became suicidal. What happened was a bicycle fall first caused that pain, but after a decade, she became desperate. So this is the story of how her life was changed. And my body was... This was Gina Kiesler two weeks ago. In so much pain, she couldn't sit down. To go through it um, on an hourly basis with no end in sight is um, just a living hell. The pain began when this long-distance bicycle rider fell off and landed on her seat. It's unbearable. It's intractable. It's unspeakable. I call it a modern torture. She saw more than 40 medical specialists in Indiana before coming to Houston for a new surgery she prayed would help. To take a person who is, you know, confident, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations, um, uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. It's a terribly disabling syndrome. Uh, people have a horrible burning pain in their bottom. The pudendal nerve, which goes to the rectum, bladder, and reproductive organs, can get trapped or squeezed between ligaments. And we cut those ligaments, releasing the nerve. And then once we've done that, it takes time in most people for the, for the nerve to recover. I can have my vitality back, my personality, my energy, my zest for life. And this was Gina only three days after surgery. I really don't feel any of the deep aching or the burning sensation that I would have deep in my buttock area. Um, and that's just really exciting. Christy Myers, 13 Eyewitness News.